hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel it audit with deborah deremi so today i'll be discussing about my journey to becoming an it auditor basically i'll talk about my background how it started where it started and what is happening at the moment so i'll talk about the challenges probably maybe some and then i'll talk about some of the tips that might be of help to you probably like the courses i've taken and you know some of the things that you might need to do if you are trying to maybe transition into this career path or even if you are new to this career path so i believe this will be of like help to you so stay tuned like subscribe and share with your friends and let's get started with the business of the day okay so let's talk about my background so um of course i'm currently still an it auditor but my undergraduate study was not IT audit and nothing close to audit. I studied electrical and electronics engineering from like the first and the best university in Nigeria. So that's University of Ibadan. So um, of course engineering, it's nothing like exactly related to IT audit, but there were like some fragments of, you know, computer science and networking. So we did some courses in um, Botran, MATLAB, networks you know base station in those kind of courses so it wasn't exactly it audit but there were like some elements of it and then so th that was like a very good um, foundation for me so after my undergraduate study like as a proper nigerian i went for like nyse so which is like a period of, for a period of one year where you like to go through paramilitary training so after the nyse I started like job hunting and of course for most graduates the easiest jobs to get were like bank jobs so I applied to banks I still applied to like engineering companies but you know the bank jobs were more forthcoming so I was selected for like the graduate training school which I opted in for and then I think the training was for like a period of four months or thereabouts where we learned about, you know, the business of banking, you know, financial um, aspects of banking and all of that. And then at the end of the training school, we had to like be posted to a particular unit. And then I found that I was posted to systems and control division and my, my team right, was IT audit. So that was like my very first time of knowing about of IT audit and of course I took it in good faith and I started working with the team. Okay. So CISA is Certified Information Systems Auditor and it's a certificate that is recognized internationally. So I, it was like part of my pro probation like requirement, so requirement to like pass probation basically. So. After, like within six months I took the exam and passed the exam and then afterwards I went for the certificate and then also registered as a member of ISACA. So ISACA is like the body in charge of the CISA certificates basically. So uh, as a registered member of ISACA you get access to like so many audit resources, IT audit resources. I leverage like some of those um, um, resources to like understand the IT audit concept and all then you also have access to free webinars so I also register for those webinars to listen to what people have to say and all of that so those were like the learning um, opportunities I had which I made use of and I'm still making use of because I'm still a member so so that's like my um, CISA journey and then I also um, did like a training um, an ISO 22301 training so it was sponsored that was sponsored by the bank and then for that I understood like concept of um, business continuity so basically what companies have to do to like ensure they can still continue their business if there's like an incident like a ransomware you know all of those things anything that will affect their IT system that might impede their like their ability to continue business so what should they do things they should put in place to prevent like their inability to continue to, to continue business basically so you know that was like um, a good opportunity for me to learn so some other like colleagues at work had like some trainees on ISO 27 
1001 and all of that so we all had like different trainings that we were registered for so and then that also helped like our understanding and knowledge of IT audit so basically with IT audit you need to keep learning because you know we audit different processes and you need to like understand different concepts different people's processes and also you need to like keep learning you need to keep training you need to keep like understanding concepts and all as quickly as you can so those were like the two certifications i did like in the early aspect of my careers in a way i can say i was kind of navigated towards it audit because it wasn't like my first option initially but you know after working with the team and you know doing some audits over time i got to like love it the fact that you can help people improve their process identify weaknesses identify vulnerabilities and all so i eventually loved what i was doing and i was like okay so i think it's time to like take a step further so i furthered my education and went for like my masters in cyber security so that's like aside like my certification i've also gotten my masters in cyber security and of course i'm still always learning attending you know webinars watching my youtube videos and also it's a process of like learning constantly and um, maybe the best advice anyone can give you if you are in the it audit field you have to like keep learning basically because things keep changing you know there are different you know ai you know before there wasn't so much about ai but now even it auditors need to audit ai so i'm also thinking of ways to also further my knowledge in that aspect how can i audit artificial intelligence and also it's it's a field where you need to like keep learning and you know maybe communicate and you know have like a, a group of people you can you know share knowledge with um, from time to time so that you know what they are doing if you also need to you know do what they are doing there's no crime in maybe doing what someone else is doing if it's working for them really so if you are thinking of like transitioning into it auditor you are a new auditor like it auditor really so i think um to be more specific some of the things that can be helpful is for you to try to have like at least a basic knowledge of you know in network backups servers you know databases and processes around it so that will be very helpful and um, most of your jobs as an editor will be around you know all of those things and then try to understand regulations in like your industry so like the regulations that apply to a financial institution might not exactly be the same with say healthcare or manufacturing so you need to understand regulations standards and frameworks that applies to your industry and those that are like generally applicable to all industries so that will be also very useful i believe you should watch out for like my next video so i'll talk about my experience on the first audit you know and you know i was how i was able to like navigate with everything and also thanks <music>